Joe Drance for Black and White Sports. Breaking news. Pro football talk. Eli Manning will hold a Friday retirement press conference. We suspected that was going to happen. Um, at least me and John Matrix, that was our speculation that Eli was probably going to retire. Uh, mainly because Tom Coughlin left the Jags. That kind of closed the door on a possibility. Eli Manning's NFL career appears to reach the end. ESPN reports the Giants quarterback will hold a news conference Friday. It is not a surprise that signs pointed towards Manning calling it quits. He did not want to finish his career as a backup. Manning, 39, lost his job to rookie Daniel Jones, a kid that I think has a ton of potential. Manning started only four games going 1-3, and three, passing for 1,042 yards, six touchdowns, and five interceptions. If this is it, Manning ends his 16-year career with a 117-117 and record, two Super Bowl rings, 57,023 yards, and 366 touchdowns. His career will create an interesting Hall of Fame debate. He only made four Pro Bowls, was never an All-Pro, but twice was a Super Bowl MVP. In NFL history, he marks 7th in yards, 7th in touchdowns, 7th in completions, 45th in passer rating, 84.1, and 43rd in completion percentage, 60.3, 12th in interceptions with 244. Okay, and um, I'll just give you my take. I know to a point I, I can speak on behalf of John Matrix, the other owner of the channel. Neither him or myself believe Eli Manning is a Hall of Famer. We believe Eli, minus about 10 great, historically great games, Eli is a middle-of-the-pack, mediocre quarterback. 117 and 117, in our opinion, does not put you in the Hall of Fame. Okay, and I know there's going to be Giants fans come through here and they're going to be mad as Hades. It is what it is, okay? A 60% completion percentage in a time where a passing league where you should complete 65 to 70% of your passes, really and truly. You know, I know Aaron Rodgers was down a little bit this year, but still, 244 picks. We're, this isn't the 90s the early 90s this isn't the 80s this is he played a great deal during the passing era basically the entire passing era okay um i know he's won two super bowls and look we're not dumb we know he's probably going to get in we just don't feel like he deserves it okay very stand-up guy stand-up quarterback uh eli seems like he's a great dude Okay, but we, the, in my opinion, I know in John's opinion as well, the numbers just don't support the case. Okay, not in a passing era. To me, of the three quarterbacks that came out of that class, Ben's a shoe in. I think Phillip Rivers is a bigger debate than Eli. I do. With Even without a Super Bowl, his statistics are much better. Peace, I'm out. Till next time.